Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I wanted to do a little denim review for you. So I'm going to do a sort of first impressions try on review of Redone. And if you're not familiar with this brand, they are a sustainable brand based out of LA and they basically upcycle Levi's denim to create new modern fits. They have quite the cult following and they are especially popular in the sustainable fashion community. So I have a pair from the Redone Originals line which retails for around $250. They also have the Redone Levi's line which retails around $300. So I actually purchased my jeans on sale from Goop for $100 which is a really great price and it's what I usually pay for the Levi's wedgie jeans that I love and I've seen that quite a few of the lines on the Redone website are actually on sale and you can also always check other retailers. So pricing here really ranges and it just depends on the kind of style that you're looking for. Another really cool thing about this brand is that you can actually register your jeans online to get free repairs for life, which is right in line with their sustainable practices. So I wanted to do a little review of the Redone Originals High Rise Stove Pipe Jeans. These are a straight leg jean. These are in the color medium vein, which is just your basic like mid wash blue color. Um, it's a really great like all around staple pair of jeans to have and these have a really rigid denim um, which gives them like a really vintagey feel uh, and they don't stretch or give as much when you wash them which is great. They also have a frayed hem as you can see here which will become more frayed the more you wash them. Um, they're really nicely fitted so that's the great thing about this brand that so many people rave about is that the fit of these jeans is like perfect right when you buy them which I can definitely attest to that. Um, they're really nicely fitted especially like in the back and then the seat area really just like tapered to fit you perfectly right when you get them. And these are a true straight leg cut. So I'd say they're slightly looser than the Levi's wedgie jeans that I have down through the leg, but it is a really just perfectly like vintage style straight leg cut that I love. And one other thing to keep in mind about these jeans is that they all have the white label. I know some people don't really like it when the jeans have like a really bright white label like this, but it doesn't really bother me at all and you can actually see on the denim where the old like Levi's label would have been. They all come with this little like tag here and it actually has the age of the denim that they used for this particular pair of jeans. This says 20 plus or minus so I'm guessing 20 years plus or minus. Vintage Levi's are so highly coveted these days it is just really hard to come by a real vintage pair without buying from like you know, a vintage store or a line like this. I just thought that was kind of cool that they included the actual like age range of the denim, of the upcycled materials that they use. So to talk about sizing, I ordered mine in a size 27, which is my usual size. Um, I'm usually around a 26 to a 27. I go with a 26 if I want a really tight fitting pair of jeans, but most of the time I do not. So I usually order a 27 because I prefer my denim to fit a little more loosely, more comfortably. And so I would say that these are true to size, but if you're kind of in between sizes, um, depending on the fit that you want, if you want a really tight fit, then maybe go with your smaller size, and if you want a slightly more comfortable fit, go with the larger size that you usually get. And they're also a really nice length, they're not too cropped, which is something that I find is true for a lot of the new Levi's styles. They're really cropped, I don't know why. Um, and I have quite a bit of length in my legs, so I do like something that kind of hits right around my ankles, which is true for this pair. I am five foot six for reference. And these on me fit slightly loose around the waist, but I wouldn't size down because the fit in like the torso seat area is actually really comfortably tight, especially like in the thigh area as well. It fits perfectly. So usually I do have a little bit of a gap in the waist area um, and I also just tuck everything into my jeans all the time. Especially in the winter I'll be tucking thicker sweaters into these jeans so it doesn't really bother me that they're a little bit looser around the waist but that is something to keep in mind. So yes, I would say these fit true to size um, and I know that shopping online for denim can be really tricky so make sure you order from somewhere where you can return or exchange if you need to. So a lot of the straight leg jeans that I buy are actually quite um, slim fitting for technically being a straight leg. 
So these I just love how like casual and nice the straight leg looks. Um, I think it's a more interesting style for me personally right now. It's something that I'm gravitating more towards. Just like a slightly looser fitting denim through the leg, but a really nice um, well-fitting pair like in the waist and seat area, if that makes sense. So overall, I want you all to keep in mind that these are just my first impressions, so I would love to do an updated review on this pair of jeans later on after I've worn them a few times, washed them a few times, to let you know how they hold up. And if you do end up wearing them until they're threadbare, you always have that lifetime guarantee that you can get them repaired for free, which is really cool. Because each of these jeans are constructed to be a really like great fit. I just think that that attention to detail is what kind of sets this brand apart from others. That as well as them using completely upcycled materials, which is amazing. And because they use vintage Levi's, you know that the materials are up to par. They're going to last a long time. I mean, this pair alone already has 20 plus years on it, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. And Levi's, especially the vintage pairs that had the more rigid denim, are just known to be lifelong pairs of jeans. So I do think it's worth the investment in terms of the cost but I would highly suggest looking for these pairs on sale um, whether that's through the Redone website or through any of the other retailers that they sell through. I will leave some links below for different places that I find them around the internet so you can take a look at that. I do think that the stovepipe jeans are probably their most popular style and I think that just comes down to the fit. They're high-waisted, they're really flattering straight leg and they just make a perfect wardrobe staple. One suggestion that I did see online too is to find a pair of you know vintage Levi's at a thrift store and then bring them to a tailor or tailor them yourself. I know there's lots of videos on YouTube about how to tailor vintage denim um, to fit better. So that's definitely another route that you can take if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option to the redone jeans. I do think that it can be tricky to find vintage Levi's just because of how high demand they are right now. Um, so you could try looking through like a vintage boutique, but all in all, I would say that vintage Levi's are going to be really hard to find at a thrift store. And the other part of that is that tailoring the jeans can be tricky as well because it's really hard to get a good fit on a pair of denim. But yeah, that's another great upcycling and low budget sustainable option that you can take and you'd also be supporting a local business if you brought it to a tailor so that might be something you want to look into. For me, I wear denim every single day. It's a huge part of my wardrobe uniform and it's something that I want to buy sustainably if I can. Sustainable denim brands often have a higher price tag and I haven't seen any other sustainable denim that actually uses upcycled materials, although I might be wrong about that. I'll have to do a little research on that. And I just generally think that it's smart to invest in your wardrobe staples because it comes down to cost per wear. You're going to get a lot of use out of these, so I do think it's worth spending more money up front knowing that they're coming from a sustainable brand and that they are going to be an amazing fit for you. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, have any of you tried the redone stovepipe jeans? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more reviews of sustainable brands. It's something that I'm really excited to do more of. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You can hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos come out every Wednesday and Sunday. And please subscribe for more if you're interested and I will see you in the next one.